Good morning, everybody. I am back to try to make a video, and hopefully this one will upload and not take several hours. Um, it, it's making it difficult because I have videos for both channels and can't get them up. Yes, I'm sitting in a different spot, and that's because I've rearranged my living room. Um, this video is about the questions people had about the 100 envelope box challenge and it's not really all that difficult but I guess that I didn't quite explain it and there's many different ways to do this challenge um it's just basically a way to save money in 100 envelopes and you can do this and it doesn't have to be 100 it can be whatever amount of envelopes you want to choose to save um <coughs> And I walked away without a drink. I should know better than that, but it is what it is. So we're just going to go through this. I chose to do the 100 envelopes. You can do however many envelopes you want to do. You can do 52 envelopes. You could do 26. You can do it by payday. I'm just doing 100. And you don't have to do them within a year. You can say, I'm going to fill 100 envelopes and do it in a year or just whenever you get them filled you're gonna count up how much money you have in them you can um set them up with dollar amounts some people put and number them one through 100 and that's how much money you put in that envelope say you pull out a an envelope that's got 50 on it that's how much money you put in that envelope if you pull out a hundred dollar envelope that's how much you put in it or if you have $100, you want to find the $100 envelope and you put it in there that week. Or if you um, want to start with, this is week one, I have $100, we're going to work $199 through that way. Or start with the $1 and work your way up. However you want to do it. Most people do it by dollar amounts. Some people put so many envelopes at like say... $50, $20, $25, $10, $10, so forth and so on, until they have each envelope with a dollar amount on it. You don't have to have a set dollar amount. Mine are set at five, three, and two. I did not figure how much is going to be in here. I just did so many with five, so many with three, so many with two on my envelopes and you don't have to even put a dollar amount on your 100 envelopes you don't have to put anything on your envelopes the goal is to just fill the hundred envelopes and see how much money you can save over the time now i was talking to a friend that said that sounds fun I just want to see how long it will take me to stuff 100 envelopes just by saying, you know what, I have an extra five. I'm going to stick that in an envelope and tuck it away. And what she's planning on doing is taking 100 envelopes and she's going to make sure she has 100. And these came from the Dollar Tree. They're the kinds with a little pull-off thing. She's just going to take 100 envelopes, keep them in a box. I'm not sure where she's going to get her box. And you don't have to buy these with the flip things. That come, this one come from the Walmart. I think it was like $2.42 or something like that. I couldn't find any like these at the Dollar Tree, so that's what I went with. But she was going to go buy herself 100 envelopes. She was going to set them in a box. And she was going to just, you know, she's got a fairly good job. She's got three kids she raised. She's a single mom. Um, she was just going to say, I have an extra five or I have an extra two. I'm going to just, whenever I have extra money, I'm going to stick it in there. See how much I can stick away whenever I have, oh, look, there's some extra ones or something in my pocket. Or... I saved this much money because I didn't go where I planned on going. 
instead of going, I'm just going to stick this money aside and stuff it in an envelope and forget it, forget she's had it. Um, so that's what she's going to do and see, A, how long it took her to fill those 100 envelopes, and B, how much money did she save in those 100 envelopes? So it depends on how you want to do the 100 envelopes, or if you just want to do 52, or if you just want to grab some envelopes and say, how many envelopes can I save over a year between now and December 31st? Whether you just say, oh, look at this, I have a dollar left over from grocery shopping that, you know, I allowed myself $50 at the grocery store today, but I decided to put this back because I really didn't need it or this was on sale or I had a coupon, so I saved like three, four dollars today. Take that three dollars, stuffed it in an envelope and set it aside and forgot it. You know, you can do that. There's so many different ways. You can do a challenge um, and save money and set it aside. You don't have to do 100 envelopes, but that's what the 100 envelope challenge is all about. Filling 100 envelopes with whatever denomination you choose. Like I said, mine are set up with $5, $3, and $2. And it's set up per my income because I live on disability, so it's very low income. And I'm talking extreme low income. So I don't have huge dollar amounts in here. This is just a savings challenge for me to save up money for me to use at the end of the year, um, the end of December um, of 2022, and see how much I have in here. It may go towards um, just savings to put up for something else, or it may go towards... Um, a vacation or something I need. Um, I'm always in need of something that's costly, like tires, that kind of thing. You never know what you may need. But it's always nice to have it put up. Um, so that's the deal with the 100 envelope challenge. It's not that difficult. Um, like I said, you don't have to put dollar amounts on them. Just grab an envelope, put some money in it, put it in the end. I've got mine that I've already started filling at one end. The other end is all the envelopes that have still got to be filled. As I decide this week I'm going to fill this one or this one or however many I'm going to fill for whichever week, stick it in the back. I may finish this before the end of the year. I may not because we know there's more than 52 weeks in the year or there's only 52 weeks in the year. So, you know. It's what I can do, and I know when I got done paying my bills, the one bill, I had $2 left over, so that's going to be put in my other fund. So, you know, as I go, I fill this up, and at the end of the year, I will take this all out, unstuff the envelopes, and count out how much I have in this. And like I said, it don't have to be one of these boxes, but this is just, I love this. It keeps it locked shut. You know it's not going to come open. Nothing's going to fall out. And it just looks neat. And it just looks like a bunch of cards in there. Also, you can just go to the Dollar General or Dollar Tree and buy a box. This box is a dollar. They're pretty much the same size, guys. So, you know, for a buck, you can buy one of these. And how I made my envelopes was very simply folding these in half and cutting them in half. Um, that's what these are, is an envelope cut in half. So, that explains the dollar challenge, the, do the 100, sorry, the 100 envelope challenge that's in my cash stuffing um, video. I, I didn't realize that there would be uh, questions on how this worked. Very simple. You 100 envelopes, however long you want to take to fill them, however you want to fill them, whether you put a dollar amount on them or not, um, however you want to do it. You can do it in a year, less than a year, longer than a year. 
it's just a challenge to fill 100 envelopes with whatever dollar amounts you want to put in there. No need to make it any harder than that. So that's it. Really cute, really simple, nice little thing. It's nice to have it in a box because it's contained and you won't have it spill out. So everybody, thank you for hanging out with me. I hope that helped explain this a little bit. Um, I didn't decorate this box. I might down the road, but I kind of like it just being plain Jane. We'll see. Everybody, thanks for watching and hanging out with me. And I'll talk to all of you guys later. And hopefully, hopefully this won't take five, six hours to upload this 11-minute video. Everybody, I'll talk to all of you guys down in the comments below. Bye, guys.